Good morning. Um, we just want to give you the explanation of uh, how the elephant feeds uh, with the thorns. As you see, Fishan uh, is feeding uh, uh, with the thorn uh, branch that she is holding there. So, which is quite very important uh, for people to, to understand how does the elephant exactly um, feed to these such a big thorns like this. So, what happened is that uh, when the elephant uh, they grab the, the, the thorn bushes, they pull over right straight close to the mouth. And then also inside the mouth, elephant mostly they create so many uh, uh, salivas so that they can soften the, the, the thorns to not, uh, uh, to not hurt inside the mouth. And also when they'll be feeding, they'll be so very careful. You can see the tongue, how it brings over the uh, the thorn bushes right straight in the mouth so that it can direct straight on the molar and then also the saliva they'll be helping uh, themselves helping themselves to bring over all those thorns in the, into the uh, into the molar position so that they can grind it nicely so if you can see fisher now is gripping you can see how he's gonna put it in the mouth so it's holding nicely and then Get a nice branch that is his favor, and then he's putting right nicely in the mouth. You can see how he's doing it. There you go. So, therefore, when they put that um, branch in the mouth, and then the saliva also is helping that branch to be more soft so that uh, the thorn cannot get in the mouth. Thank you. Michael. You can see with the foot. Also try to step on. And then taking her tusk, also break those. And you can see these thorns are quite hard and white. And that's even the Kanisa breaking some thorns and eating it. Hey Mambo. Hey Mambo. As you can see how she's with the back molars. How she's eating it. Cool. I want to show you the, uh, how they break it. Just look on Classeri, how it's breaking. There we go. So um, the, the thorn trees, they are quite so different among themselves. Some, they are so easier for elephant to break it a small branch. And then some of the uh, thorn bushes, they mostly, they need to, to hold it with the trunk and then bring over that branch close to the, to the tucks so that uh, they can easily uh, break it using the tacks. So, of breaking the, uh, the branches, mostly there's so many ways. You can see Classeri there, she's going to get another branch. You can see how she's finding the, the better one that can she try. There you go, she's pulling over and then she's managing to break it just like that. And then if it's too hardy, with the trunk only, again, she can use uh, the tacks. So they've got so many ways uh, how they can break uh, the, the branches. Some of the bushes, uh, the thorn bushes, they can use the foot. They can hold nicely with the trunk and then uh, pull it over with the foot. So 
you can see how classy she is feeding the, the stone you can just check the tongue you can see the tongue i explained the tongue how it bring over that stone in the mouth there we go you see how she's doing it so the tongue mostly play a very major role for for the thorn bushes to bring over where uh, the molar the position they are which is quite very very important and then also she know that uh, the saliva is helping so that uh, the thorn is can be soft not to be not not be hard you can see to the end of this bush how she cut it with the with the molar you can see it, how they cut it there we go which is quite very interesting very interested i'll see how they fit so uh beside of these umbrella thorn bushes there are some other uh, big uh, trees with a very long thorns that we call the mimosa it's got a very long thorn can uh, be um, approximately about uh, three to four inches and then elephant they can feed with that one nicely without any problem no anyway they can get hurt in the mouth So there's just the popa pushing the whole thing. And in this one, it is a, a mimosa. You can see how big thorn that the mimosa has. You can look this one, almost about to five inch. Oh. And this one here, but elephant again feed it nicely. So let's see now with Kanisa. You can see on Kanisa. So we're going to do it from this side. You can see how the tongue pushes it towards the back of her mouth. You see those thorns, huge thorns. And she picks up that branch. <laughs> yeah, she puts it. <laughs> she pushes it towards the back of her mouth. As Owen explained, that it's at the back is the molars that you can bite it 
and then also look at her tongue. It's behind the tongue, at the back. And then the saliva, as Owen explained, also helps. See how she pushes it towards the back. Popa uses her tusks as well. So the age difference between the two, both of them utilizing their back molars, but they've got different ways of breaking it. And that is just because of age, tusks, and how they adapt. See, she also, look at that. Yeah, and she pushes the other one down, the branch. And she just broke that branch with her trunk. Not much. Once again roll it towards the back you can see both of them doing it simultaneously at the same way of pushing those thorn branches to the back 